Okay, I got another uh, pre or, or midday watch list update, and hopefully I don't shoot my dogs. Hey, come on, get out! Move, move, go, move. Uh -huh. So, and, and I actually got a request for more distance on the last video. People were somewhat upset. Oops, no, okay, that uh, that I didn't put enough range. But it was cold that day, so today I'm at 30 yards. So, um, first stock of the day is LNCO. So this is one of the junk oil and gas plays. There's a million of these companies that have billions of dollars in debt. Uh, oil is obviously down. My opinion, oil is going to zero. It will be worthless, except unless we get some sort of Mad Max type scenario, then gas might be worth something. But obviously oil is jumpy short term, but it's going to zero. All these oil and gas over leveraged guys are going to zero. LNCO, I didn't get a pop, but L-I-N-E, I did. I wanted 180 on LINE, I got 165, so I mean it's fading today, I'm up a little bit, can't complain, just because oil did pop based on the inventories, but now it's put in a fade, all the other junky oil and gas are strong, LINE is weak, so other than DNR, I will stick with those. Traded JCP this morning, JCPenney, annoying, but I saw that $12 fail. It, I got a quick yank under 1180 to 1160. Pretty decent cover for 20 cents. I mean, 20 cents a share is nothing great, but ah, uh, <laughs> a little distracting. Um, but when it's a real stock. And the SPY was strong this morning. I'll kind of take it. It's uh, it's always nice to start the day out with a quick gain. So you can't complain. My primary watch for this afternoon is LEU, which is a former runner. It went, you know, it doubled yesterday. I think, uh, you know, at one point it was up 150% on the day. Then it was a pretty good fade late day. I uh, um, I didn't trade it yesterday. I wanted that four dollar level, which would have been a killer entry, but didn't take it. Um, today it was weak out of the gate, but I'm hoping for pops somewhere into that three fifty area for an entry. Well, at least I seem to be consistently bad. I do have a. Not to make excuses, but there is a pretty stiff crosswind, but I don't know if that's a legit excuse or not. So, um, ba -ba 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 -ba, what did I miss? Oh, L W L L. I mean, all these, what I don't like about this watch list is they're all oil and gas, and they all kind of move with oil. So, to me, that's a crapshoot. Now, what I do like about LNCO and LINE is I kind of feel like they de decoupled from oil to a certain extent because we had that big rip this morning and they, neither of them really went anywhere. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, you know, I guess L-A-N-E is probably my favorite just because the great one, Greg, LX21, I believe basically called this a, a good to zero. Now, he has a much, much, much longer time frame than I do, but when Greg says the stock's going to zero, you know, they, all, I mean, almost always go to zero. Maybe it might take a while, but they eventually get there. So I'm comfortable holding this. Ideally, I'll hold it into the close. Doubt I'll hold it overnight. Hoping for a big wash here. I mean, there's a, some of these like DNR yesterday. I mean, that thing was down 40% in one day. 
there's L-I-N-E is up from, I think, you know, like 30 cents or, or maybe less. Yeah, it's up from 31 cents. So, I mean, it's 500% it's off its lows or whatever, five times off its lows. So, they're, and, and it's a carcass. I mean, it's, it's dead meat. So, um, I would like to see a pull for a cover into probably, you know, my goal would be that break of the pre-market lows. So, somewhere between below 120. Uh, I gladly take 40 cents on a day trade. On a buck fifty stock, I mean that's a huge percentage. I'm not saying we get there, but especially after yesterday, I think it's possible. Again, referencing DNR, I mean I, I covered that thing for like a five percent gain, and then it went down forty percent on the day, closed right on the lows. Could have been a huge play. So because of that, I'm really holding a grudge against Line and gonna I. I'm hold. I'm just gonna put a fucking chokehold on this thing and hope for death. Ugh. All right. LIA is doing what it wants, and all the junk oil and gases are fading. Oil's fading. SPY's sideways. That's the update. Now I got to show you the pattern. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be particularly pleased with it. I was all over the place. So Okay, you can see the wind I was dealing with. But uh at least everyone hit the target, so, but certainly nothing to brag about. Uh, unfortunately, Mike, I don't see a bullseye. Well, maybe close, but not, nothing. They're approaching a bullseye, I guess, in, in horseshoes and hand grenades, maybe I'd have one. So, 